start at 6.45 in the morning, and uh, kids used to get here by 6.15, 6.30, and, and we go till 7.30, 7.45, and they take a shower and go to class. We chose this year to practice on Thursday mornings, um, do our walkthrough and everything. Um, you know, at this point, the, the hay's in the barn. You know, what we want to make sure is that, that mentally we're there, and really it was, a, it was an opportunity to get our kids away from it for an afternoon. You know, we get under the lights a little bit, um, it was just a better situation. It's worked well for us, and we've really enjoyed it. Count which side's got the most numbers. All right, well, he's going to give you the call, let us know which way we're pulling. I mean, I like it. Give you a time out to school to go home and rest up, get your mind right for the game. It rained yesterday. We didn't go out. We did the same thing we've done before when we've rained and, and watched film and, and, and did some different things to, to get ready for the game. But, you know, we prepared right, the same. Let's go 11. 11. 11. 11. On Thursday, typically, we're, we're done with our game plan. Uh, so that's pretty much an easy day. We get to kind of relax in terms of football, uh, especially since you know Coach Walker allows us to go Thursday mornings and kind of get everything uh, taken care of then. Uh, so it's pretty easy to kind of relax, and, and that's our, our academic day. So, as, as a teacher in Milton High School, and, and with it being a national school of excellence, you, you got to teach every day. Again, session three and four, if you remember, are kind of. It's not one day more than the other. But it's kind of our joke that, that Thursday is our academic day because we go in the morning. So, before uh, I love practicing in the morning, uh, get it done. Everyone's focused. Um, we get to go home after school, rest up, get ready for the game tomorrow. Good talent that you don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna zone it all up. I think you have to prepare each week um, like you're playing for a championship, and, and obviously this week at Walton will be the biggest challenge we've had probably in the history of the school. I'm expecting a hard game, but I'm expecting us to come out and play hard and just give it all our and just see what happens. When you're four and one, all you've guaranteed yourself is four and six, um, and that's not not our goal. Um, so our goal is to go out and compete and be in every ball game and have a chance to win them. I'm having fun. I love playing and uh, just coming out and practicing. It's fun. I love, I just love football. And if you want to get to where you, your, your goals are, which are to be in the playoffs and that kind of stuff, you have to go take on teams like Walton and you have to play better than we have in the past. The win is my goal. That's the only thing I got for this week is the win. Kids have played well. Uh, we've worked hard to get there. and um, But all we are is four and one. try to get here to get ourselves on schedule as if it were a home game. So we, we, we probably arrive more earlier than most teams do, but we like to get here and then go through our taping and then get them right back on schedule as if we were playing at home. 16. And this really is a big game. It's a 5-0 and team playing a 4-1 and for the number one spot in Region 6. So it's pretty big. And you know our kids are smart enough they can figure that out. I don't have to tell them. They, they've known since Monday. We're just trying to focus up on, on playing a good game against a really big and, and tough Milton team. This is what you work hard for. This is why you, you go to work in the summer and the winter and the mat drills and all that stuff, and is to have a chance to, to play in these type of games and, and compete at the highest level. And, and we're certainly doing that tonight uh, here at Walt. Still get the butterfly for a big ball game like tonight, and uh, just enjoy the heck out of it. Make no mistake about it, you wanted this opportunity. They scheduled you for homecoming! That's disrespectful. Line up, please smash my football. Leave no doubt. One, two, three. Lock it! Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate! guys as pumped up as I possibly can. Me and uh, Raider guys up there, you can see them. Just, you know, make them loud, make them loud. All right, we're coming out. We're coming out strong. And nothing gonna stop us. We got this. Some guys 
that we all paint up every Friday for the football games. We get we got names of all the good football players, all the seniors. And we got the truth, that's Scott Ratliff, Korean Missile, Mark Kim. And Lockdown, Scott Willock. Who is that? Scott Willock, yeah. Looked like he ran a straight up halfback gut. The defensive line collapsed and he, ran, and he made a hole for himself, ran right through. What score? I can't really see the trees in the way. <laughs> see, I'm a little older than these guys. So when it gets exciting, I get up. But I want to see some excitement. He's off doing his thing and cheering with the cheerleaders and dancing and helping us win. We come out here and support our team. We run our flags and just keep our crowd cheered up. You just get everything really pumped. No, we didn't finish it real well. We, we, we started off playing well, and we got some opportunities. When you're playing a championship team, you, you, can't, you can't screw it up there at the end. And we screwed it up twice by not getting any points there, missed the PAT. And so we're going to have to get better than that if we're going to finish this thing off in the second half. Homecoming is really exciting because all of us get to see students that graduated a few years ago and some. We made a couple of technical adjustments. The main thing we showed is we got to keep playing. You know, you got to survive success. We're down 13 nothing. Offense has got to get us back in the game. Defense has got to tighten it up a little bit. Walton just came out and decided they were going to run the ball and just use their whole offense. They're they're, uh, they're doing a fantastic job. We're looking at 13, 13 to 3 right now. What a beautiful field goal. I just want to be on TV. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> Go Eagles! <laughs> oh, this is what it's all about for Friday nights, you know? This is what the kids have been looking forward to all week long, and uh, this is what the coach has been preparing for. We're just all fired up and so happy for what the program's doing. Tell me what punch the clock means. Oh, punch the clock! Go! It's time to rumble! What? It's time to rumble! of our kids at Milton. Our fans and our team travel well and uh, you can see with their spirit even though we're having a tough quarter they're still behind the team and that's the way we are at school and that's the way our fans and community are too. Go with me? Go. It's hard for everybody. It's hard for our fans. It's hard for our community. It's hard for the, the band. It's hard. You know, everybody's put a lot of time in this thing trying to get it, you know, where we want. And uh, we just didn't get it done tonight. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. We left too many. <laughs> too many opportunities out there that we didn't take advantage of. So, uh, you know, a lot of people worked hard. These kids have worked their butts off, and they deserve better. And they, they deserved us doing a better job of, of, of getting it done in the second half, and we didn't get it done. So. We all, all right, let this one slip away. Every one of us, all right? No pointing fingers, no nothing. Everything we want to accomplish can still be accomplished. We still got a lot to play for, all right? We still got a lot to play for. See, that was a really good game, very exciting. Guys played great in the second half. I, you were commiserating with me at halftime, and, you know, <laughs> luckily they were able to pull it out, overcome our coach, and get out of here with a win. I mean, we struggled. I mean, they were, they were coming out hard, way harder than we were. Got the second half, 
You know, turn the momentum around. That's all we had to do, make plays. Our backs were against the wall, man. Our backs were against the wall. You never quit. Yeah!